All right, today we've got a new module we're talking about here. It is the Rat King Modular Random Sequencer. And we're uh, pleased to carry the kits, the completed versions, as well as the PCB panels here at Synthrotech. So um, check them out. They're going to be relatively inexpensive, um, 25 bucks for a, a programmed IC and the PCB panel combo, and then um, 50 bucks for the kit and 75 bucks for a complete unit. And you get a lot of fun random. Kind of all uh, Turing machine style because you can get a looping eight step sequence as well as a looping 16 step sequence. And then you can pop it over into the complete random mode over all the way to the left on this mode switch and capture new random notes. So let me just kind of go through the, um, the controls here on the random sequencer. So up top, you can kind of see here that we've got a potentiometer and this potentiometer is the rate for um, the clock. And you get one random uh, new note, random voltage value, uh, every time the clock cycle um, cycles all the way through. So, you know, uh, you can easily put the clock into an envelope or something and then um, kind of control uh, the sequence in time as the voltage changes, you'll get your pitch change too. So it kind of syncs up there really great. Um, there's a mode switch below that and this mode switch uh, all the way left is completely random. And of course it's just gonna be random, random steps. Um, the random here is actually quantized um, real note values and you got four octaves of that. So it goes from zero to four volts. We limited that so that it's musical and useful that way. Um, middle position here on the switch gets you to 16 steps looping. All the way to the right gets you eight steps looping. Uh, clock reset is not a traditional clock input but it's clock reset so it'll reset the clock um, with an external clock or, or a five volt pulse and that's great for syncing up your clocks. Uh, clock CV in is actually CV control over the clock speed. Um, so you can do fun things like take the random out and put it into the clock CV in and get random clocks and random um, movement there. You get a random CV in and that is basic, basically emulates the, uh, the switch here. So you can move it to fully random uh, to uh, 16 steps or eight steps using the random CV uh, in jack. And it responds to voltage by negative four to zero is going to be fully, um, excuse me, is gonna be eight steps. Zero to four volts positive is going to be 16 steps and anything above four volts is going to be fully random. Um, you got a clock output, square wave, and uh, then you've got the random voltage output. Okay, so for this first uh, patch here, I'm actually putting one of our um, stacking connectors here into the clock output of the random sequencer because I want to be able to use the clock on other capacities. And then we've got the random output going to my buff mult. Buff mult is going into changing the one volt per octave tracking of the event. So that's just going to be our audio. And then the clock is going also into another event being used as an envelope. And that's going to our LPG. So we're able to um, kind of ping that LPG and we'll hear how it sounds. So let's turn it up. Love the way this LPG sounds with the event. It's real snappy and fun. So of course we can change the clock speed here. And this is a just looping 16 step sequence that it grabbed from random volts. Now if we quickly bring it over into the full random mode, it will grab more notes. So let's hear a little bit of that. So it's similar to our old sequence, but we've added some random notes back into it. Let's grab some more. So it's got that. Now it's going to be looping some new random variables. If we bring it over into eight step mode, now it's just eight steps looping. You know, it's great for discovering new melodies. Uh, it can be kind of a lazy man sequencer, but um, you know, that's one of the benefits of modular here. And of course, we can go back over here to the full random and grab some more notes. So it really is great for live performance. If you're doing like an acid set or something like that, and you want to add some, um, some random to a sequence that's already there, or just work on something like that from scratch. We're going to lower the pitch a little bit here on the event.
it goes pretty slow to pretty fast. It goes from about 50 seconds at the slowest per clock cycle all the way to um, eight, uh, eight milliseconds. So it goes pretty fast, gives you a good, nice, good range there. So let's also do some fun things too. If we bring the buff malt out, uh, excuse me, the random is going to the buff malt. We're gonna take that random voltage and now we're gonna put it into the clock CV input. So if you wanna do some kind of fun gesturing and have more random clock, works great for that. So you can go fully random again, grab some new notes so you can put them into your 16 step sequencer. Now also for your random CV input, you can kind of move things around between negative and positive voltage, which ends up being kind of fun. And then it'll move between steps or fully random. It's interesting. Let's get this self cycling. Excuse me. And let's bring that into the random CV input. So it's going to be moving between positive and negative change between eight steps sequence uh, 16 steps and fully random which makes it real fun and interesting um, another way that I like utilizing I like utilizing this is to mix um, two different sequencers which is great so I can take clock out, bring it into the new Synthrotech step module, which is going to be really fun. And what this allows me to do is to use the Unity Game Mixer. Let's bring the, let's bring the random out, put it into the Unity Game Mixer, and take some of my, with a too long of patch cable up here, let's take the CV out of, the C, of my step sequencer, and combine those, and then so now what we're doing is we have, you know, we're augmenting an existing an existing set of uh, existing set of four notes here that is ping ponging, and it's adding to those. something a little more uh, more looping but but seemingly more semi-random but it's going to loop at a longer longer stage than just um, 16. And I can move this around. It'll be like eight steps, bring it to 16. Let's go ping pong again which makes it a little more interesting, expands it.
like I said, a lot of fun for more random things. Let's take our output of the LPG now and bring it into, let's just say like the echo here. And then we can also use that random CV over like our echo rate, which will make it more of a consistent sequence over what our echo is doing. And here, all that sounds here in a second. So let's grab that random voltage now out of our buff mall. I just love these um, new Rat King modular events. There's going to be more modules coming out too. A low pass filter slash um, kind of LPG VCA mix and an oscillator and some other stuff. But um, it lets you find something you like and you can keep rocking with it. Ooh, I like that. Much slower now. fun. Let's bring a little hot, hotter alpha in here. Ooh. Speed it up a little bit. Get more frequency modulation happening. And I can bring some random over here and now modulate my alpha. Thank you. 